Obama has lost his mind. Look at the amount he requests from our taxpayers. Taxpayers are actually providing the funds for the previous president's luxurious lifestyle. Congress provides for all presidents once they leave the workplace, but Obama is asking for the most cash by far. He wants an astonishing $1.1 million to pay for 2018. I guess we through the Congress are still paying for Obama's overindulgence. These taxpayers' money is actually on top of the actual exorbitant charge he makes for each talking engagement. Furthermore, liberals wasted virtually no time accusing Trump with leveraging his position in the White House to enhance his family wealth. However, Obama and his money-grubbing ways tend to be treated like a matter of training course. Obama is asking for more taxpayers' money, will Congress approve? The former President's Act that became legislation in 1958, provides previous president's occupants with lifetime advantages after leaving the office. Every ex-president gets a base pension plan of $205,700 yearly, but the spending budget requests them to submit the Congress could also address extra expenses. Examples can be personnel salaries, workplace allowances, travel, and safety. Nobody requested that much taxpayers' money as Obama. He wants $536,000 only for office space. Whenever will the Congress and Americans be free of Obama's offers? The money intended for their luxurious offices might have been used to raise multiple households out of low income. The Zans of college students could have been supported through college. Naturally, Obama and his freewheeling attitude regarding government money have been documented for a long time. The actual national debt skyrocketed during his eight-year ruling. In case you love to finance Obama and his family, you are lucky. It looks like taxpayers are and will be paying through Congress for Obama and his demands.